Kumar Kiwawa Hotel. This is King Ajalon from the Lower African Mines. I have sister, mother goddess, queen, uh, Amina Hassan on the phone. Hotel, sister. Hotel, Numa Kiwawa. And for the brothers and sisters and the families that's tuning in, Numa Kiwawa is a term that we coined, that we came up with. Uh, it represents allowing the universe to speak through you. There's so much information that we receive from the universe when we allow it to uh, proceed through us. Uh, some things we can study through books. Some things we can study through the field of sciences. Some things that we, we get through meditation. Uh, I heard young Pharaoh Allah uh, say uh, we get information through actual projection. Uh, I heard some other brothers and sisters talk about uh, the ether, ether nine. And so us as an African people, as a Nubian people, there's a lot of different ways uh, information come to us. Some people say we're God. Some people say we're the best mode of creation that God made. So whichever way you need to address it or whatever need, way to be saying, we are the supreme beings of this planet. The black minds, the black dot, the penal gland, the bacterial gland, uh, the melanated man, the carbon man, dark matter, black energy, the negroid, the negro, the colored, the more, the Asiatic, the Nubian, the African. And we can go on with all these different names of each and every respective group to feel satisfied, the Hebrew, the Jew. And we're not going to waste any more time. You know who you are. You know what information that you have. This is not information for an argument. This is information to be built on. One thing that we know, and Mother uh, Amina, yeah. I hope you can agree, that when the conquerors conquered Egypt or Nubia or Africa or Kibbalan or Israel or Morocco, and the many other names that we call ourselves, freedom was not a part of their plan. True? True. And since freedom has never been a part of the conqueror's plan, we should not be relaxed. We should not feel uh, like we've gained some ground. Because when you conquer someone and you know you conquered them for their demise. You conquered them for the long haul. You, the record reflects when you conquer someone, uh, you pick apart their culture, you destroy their institutions, you remove their landmarks, you loot their artifacts. Uh, matter of fact, you even take the artifacts and don't you melt them down? Yeah. Um... Would it be wise for the Arab Muslims to take apart the pyramids and build a mosque? According to their philosophy, yeah. Well, that's what a conqueror do. He leaves no traces of you and your ancient uh, landmark. He leaves no traces of you and your family. Matter of fact, I know some people, uh, when they say they go to war, right? They try to eliminate the whole family, the mama, the father, the son, the grandchildren. They just try